I'm gonna stop uploading my videos uh, or recording my videos rather through my phone versus YouTube because sometimes YouTube wants to play games and not let you upload your video. But um, you know, I I mean, I I make these videos because people listen. You know, people listen, and um, it's always good to have things on record because. You never know when you need to come back to something because you're just now going through it. But one thing I want to share with that I've kind of witnessed in this whole phenomenon is that the way, you know, and that's if you care. I know a lot of people are still at the stage where they care um, about you know, every little detail in this phenomenon. One thing I've noticed is one key way that they're able to be where you are or say, see, and hear certain things that you are doing. For instance, if you go downstairs and they're walking downstairs, you go outside, they're outside is repetition, right? So we know that everyone's being watched, whether you are an empowered elect or you're the demons that's issued that are, you know, uh, rendering out the marching orders they receive. Everyone is watched. There's no, look, Donald Trump has made it known that he's being surveilled. So if these demons don't think that the top demon is being watched and they're not being watched. That's the narcissism inside them that they have to deal with. Back to what I was saying. Everything is predicated off repetition. So most of us are detail oriented, planned persons, organized, right? In that fashion, they are aware of that. So that's what they play on. They play on your need to be detailed, oriented, planned, right? Not ritualistic, but you have a way about going and doing things, which they manipulate. Now, it is not because they're super techni uh, technically advanced or they have this hindsight and they're just these geniuses and they're these demons. No. How they're able to be where you are before or during is because they usher you in to certain places and situations so that then it would seem like, oh, they were, you know, following you, which they are. But always like, you know, they were watching you 24-7. A lot of the times, they implant thoughts in your head, which we now know to be a fact. It's not a theory. Which is to usher you into the act. It could have been something that you planned to do. It could have been something that you spoke out or thought of. So the, once you speak out or think or say, their whole quote unquote goal, not your neighbors. Stop thinking that your neighbors are these masterminds. They're not. <laughs> they, <laughs> these people are far from it. All right. These people are being possessed and used by the hive mind as well as i.e. Satan, which is the master of the hive mind. So at this point, and I've said in previous video, if you were going to go to work, what they may try to do is if you were going to switch it up, they may try to usher you in to go in and leave your house at a time they want you to leave their house, leave your house, so that then they can have people which are already put in place to walk outside of you. It's all about timing, right? So the whole point, right? The, I went to the point, but how you counter measure that is you speed up or slow down 
this is I'm telling you I do it all the time. This you have this is how you manipulate them. Waste their time. They don't have time anyway. Their time is up. Waste their time. I pull over to the side of the road. I'll to make U turns. I'll go back somewhere where I wasn't going to originally go. I'll take random streets. I'll take random exits. Because ultimately, if you throw them off by five seconds, it messes up everything. You understand? Timing is everything. Everything. So five seconds makes a different, like, of a year to these people. I, I'm telling you, because these people are predicated off your, uh, your moves. They're predicated off your next, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, I'm getting a, uh, they're predicated off, off your, your, your moves. I'm just going to say it like that. So they're banking on you believing your thoughts to be your own and then acting them out at a certain time. So when you get here, it's like, hey, how did they know I was going to get here? How did this person know to call you? There's no such thing as a coincidence in these in these ordeals. What they don't know, right, is we are a distraction to them. <laughs> so while they're worrying about us, their soul is already tarnished. There is no relationship with the creator. They are not striving for anything better. Right? They're not waking up to any truth or knowledge, which they will never because they're manipulated. So they're wasting more of their time and their life. You gotta understand, we know where we're going. We know where the end result of this leads for us. They're not even focused on it because they're so focused on us, which is the whole plot. We're the distraction to the earth. Because, you understand, Satan knows, right? I just got to praise the Most High. Satan knows we're not going to give in. He knows we're not going to tap out. So, there's billions of people in the world. And 144,000 plus some, right? Of the, of the elect and then others, right? So, let's say there's about... Half a million of us who are, you know, we know we have the elect and then we have the ones that the Most High have brought out from the uh, the tares. Right? Everyone else is Satan's. You, so look at, look at the dynamics, the percentage of that. Satan's whole goal is to bring as many people to destruction as possible. How does he do that? By manipulating the masses to focus on us as if we are, right? Because I'm going to tell you about, let's say 50% actually know who we really are. So what he's done is he's gotten some odd billion who damn the hell, souls are going to be lost. People are dying in sin every day, every day. Every day, and that's Satan's whole plan. They're dying in sin. It's a battle between souls. So he's gotten everyone focused on half a million of righteous people <coughs> while their souls are in, in the wind, while they're just floating like the wind, bro. They're gone out here, bro. They don't even, they're focused on TV, what they're going to eat tonight, dinner, what they're doing next week, movies coming out, football coming up next. Sports, drafts, everything that's controlled, everything they manipulate. That's what the billions, the masses are worried about, right? What ice cream just came out, new cars coming out, technology, the next iPhone. Like, that's the shit that they get control with. We, we're no longer fascinated by idiotic things that we know are just here to manipulate you, right? So that's Satan's mastermind. And look, bro, we know Satan most high governs left and right. So when I say this, I'm not bigging up Satan and I'm not acknowledging him as, as being anything. But you have to say things for what it is. It's a master plan. Because if you think about it, you have billions of people focused on 
half a million of people. Do you know how many souls are lost in that, in 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 the mix of that, bro? I mean, just think about it, bro. I mean, it's not that Satan is one because you understand when you understand the Most High, isn't for everybody. If you, if, when you understand the Bible, isn't for everyone. You can read the Bible. Like I, like I keep telling people, we will read a book and obtain and retain more information than someone else will. These people who follow us around, we can read the same book. We're guaranteed to get more from the book than they are. So when we read the, when we read the Bible, it's different than Joe Schmo reading the Bible. It's very different. We actually get meaning and substance from it. They just read it, and they take it for face value. Right? Please understand me when I tell you that they have threatened more of our being and our persistence than their actions. They will never be able to do anything that would compare to what's going to be done to them. And then, right, lastly, when you realize that Satan's... <laughs> is going to be allowed to judge the people he's being able to control, what do you think he's going to tell the most high? It's not funny. But it's kind of like, it's hilarious, bro, because you just got to be like, yo, what? these people, are, they can't be this dumb. Satan is going to then be able to judge and govern over the people he's controlled, i.e. the 7.3 billion people of the world. And guess where you think he's going to vote for them to go? I mean, do, I mean, do you do people really expect for Satan to be like, nah, man, he wasn't that evil. You can have him. Do you, I mean, let, let's be real. Do people really expect for Satan to just be out here giving people to God? Do you think he's going to let people go to, to the Messiah? Do you think he's going to usher people to God? No. To Yah? No, he's not. His whole strategic plan is to usher you away. Like us going through this fiery trial was, was we were supposed to denounce the Most High. We weren't supposed to seek him, although they know that was going to happen. I'm telling you what they would have liked. They would have liked for us to then indulge in sin, try to find an escape, to blaspheme the Most High, you know, damn, basically damn ourselves and curse ourselves to hell. And then you become one of them, and then it seems like, oh, you know, and and the, and the thing about Satan is, man, Satan hears your prayer, right? And you, you got, because you got some people who are delusional, so they'll pray, so they pray to this white Jesus, and they think that he's real, and he's really praying to Satan, so he gets a kick out of that, right? And so what they'll do is, Satan hears your prayer. He hears your prayer. Especially if you're talking out loud. Doesn't mean he understands it, but he hears it. Those two different things. And so he'll hear the materialistic aspect of what you're asking for, which is what most people pray for, and he'll give them to you. And then so what do you do? You live, a, continue to live a life of sin. Because in your mind, you're praying to this Jesus or this Buddha or whoever the idol that you worship, and you're getting what you want. So we live in a system to think, well, then damn, well, this must work. And in all reality, Satan is giving you what you want so that you stay right in his back pocket. We know the Most High gives you what you need according to what his riches in heaven. We also know that if you ask, it shall be given unto you. But we also have to understand the Most High is not blessing us with things that would taint us. Right, so materialistic things will only taint us, and he's not going to give us things that are going to make us further from him. He's only going to give us things that are going to draw us near him. Right, Satan does the opposite. He'll give you what you want because it sounds good. <laughs> He'll give you what you want because he knows he can keep you like that. It's like, you know, if you know uh, your girl likes. Um, you know, like, like, I'll put you like this, a simp, right? We got simps out here. So if you know you're a simp and the only way you get women, right, speaking to the dudes out here, is you got to buy them something. And she's not for you, my guy. She does not bang with you, my guy. She's using you. 
Satan would be the woman in this, right? The woman in the red dress. So he's manipulating you. He's really playing both sides because he's not only asking for it to manipulate you, he's also giving it to you to manipulate you. So he's playing both sides of the fence. He's the head and the tail of their lives. Because not only is he making you yearn for worldly possessions because he knows you are worldly, he's then going to give them to you, not in effort, but to concrete his place in your life. So it is hilarious to me when I see people out here and they say, oh, I'm blessed, but they never say who they're blessed by. <laughs> and that word blessed means be blessed, right? The English language is a curse in itself. So when people talk about cursing and profanity, English is profanity. English, the words we speak based on the indoctrination we received is profanity. So don't let them get you caught up on <clears throat> words and phrases because words are only letters and the letters are what are ordained by the most high a b c d e the context in the way that you put them together makes the curse i.e words so i want to leave that with you guys today much love much peace shalom